So y'all, I really, really, really hope part two is giving more than part one. Because if I can be honest with you, Bridgerton season three, part one, I'm, I'm, I'm fighting to hold on. After episode four, it gives me a little bit of hope. But if I can be honest with you, y'all, we're going to get into it. This is just going to be my overall thoughts of the first four episodes of season three. So yeah, let's get into it. If you guys are new here, my name is Ashley and this is My Sweet Perspective, where I give my take on all things TV and movie related. And I'm here to put you on y'all let's get right into it so Bridgerton season three is really all about Penelope and Colin honey Colin has come back from his trips abroad we know what happened okay at the at the word of Lady Whistledown uh but he's back from his travels and honey Colin's fine Colin done buffed up Colin done grown a little chest hair like you know, and and he's and he's bagged some ladies. He's found his charm and he knows how to turn it on. So really, throughout these first four episodes, we're seeing him play with that. You know what I mean? He's loving the attention. He's loving the girlies. And we'll get deep off into that. Uh, enter Penelope, right? Penelope's back home. You know what I mean? Uh, the mama's done damage control. And so now the Featheringtons are back with some change, with a little bit of money, okay? The two elder sisters are married, but we need an heir, right? So uh, Lady Featherington, that's all she's focused on, really, because at this point, you know, they're calling Penelope a spinster, all right? Penelope's a spinster, you know, she's never gonna marry. Nobody wants her. That's what everybody keeps telling her, okay? Uh, and so, again, they come back to meet because, again, if they weren't anything before, they were friends, right? Um, you know, they have their first initial little meeting. It's, hi, how you doing? Uh, but she gets her, you know, panties in a bunch about something he does. She feels slighted. So what does she do? As Lady Whistledown, she goes and writes about his fake charm. Where did he pick it up? Where did he buy this personality? Same old Penelope, right? Right. She's going to internalize and then she's going to weaponize. That's what she does. And again, I think that's part of my, that's not really part of the issue. It's just, it's just not giving the excitement that we've had in previous seasons. That, that's got to be what it is because it's not so much the storyline. I don't mind it. Um, because we're all varied, right? People. It's just with Penelope. I mean, she's not this innocent that, you know what I mean? That it feels like the story's trying to push because she still has those same ways. And I don't know how they're going to get past the lies. But anyway, they come to this conclusion that because she wants to get out of her mama house, okay, um, he's going to help her turn on her charm to find a suitable suitor and husband, honey, because she's ready to move out. So now she wants marriage. Meanwhile, Eloise is still salty, right? Uh, but she has made friends with honey girl the cowper what's her name cressida okay and so now eloise and cressida are besties which is still very weird because cressida is a bully has always been a mean girl but with eloise it seems as though the roles have reversed because eloise is giving very much a hater eloise is giving very much miserable uh you know again everybody's flawed and that's okay. Uh, Mrs. Feathering for Francesca because she's coming out this year and we want her to be the diamond. Uh, Francesca though is unlike any of the other diamonds of the past seasons, right? Uh, because she's very inward. She's a musician. She's about her musicianship. Um, she don't like a whole lot of words. She don't need to talk. Enter Lord Sterling, who may be her official counterpart, honey. But again, you know, we feel slighted. We don't. We like them. We don't. OK, the queen's taken a special interest in Francesca, though, and introduces her to a potential suitor. But again, Francesca's feeling Lord Sterling. So what's going to happen with that? We shall see. While Colin and Penelope are working so close, honey, it gets out because Colin tells Eloise. Eloise talks loudly, right? Blames it on Cressida. But it gets out that basically Penelope hired Colin, right? Colin's helping her find a husband so she looks desperate 
or so we think, you know, and Colin reluctantly is starting to feel some feelings. He's starting to feel some things, but not uh, before he's engaged in all kinds of threesomes with all kinds of women. Okay. I mean, in a nutshell, uh, we meet the Mondricks. Well, we met the Mondricks last season or the first two seasons, actually, we knew them and he's the boxer and his wife. Apparently the wife had a wealthy aunt who passed away with no heirs. And so her oldest son is now heir to a lordship and they're moving on up like the Jeffersons in society. Okay. And they're trying to find their way. Y'all remember (sighs) Benedict Bridgerton? Well, honey, I didn't know what his deal was before. I didn't know. I I thought we might have had a thing for Lady Tilly Arnold, okay? She is a new widow, okay, with some money, right? Um, But she gives that appeal. It's very much taboo. And so he's completely into that. And she tells him, look, I ain't looking for no husband. He's like, well, sis, I'm not looking for a wife. But I think ultimately we are going to see him vie for that because it's off limits and that's what you know that's what we always want what we can't have or don't have so now while Penelope and Colin are doing all this she's been exposed she's in a bad place now um she you know she goes to see him you know to talk about their friendship honey sees his diary and what does she do she reads it because Penelope's gonna Penelope love it or hate it she's gonna be nosy and she's gonna write Two things she's going to do. Well, while all that's going on, enter Lord Debling. Now, Lord Debling kind of came out of the blue, honey, but he's been dropping hints that he's liked our Penelope. But Cressida, seeing that he's an eligible bachelor with a big bag, big bank, okay, um, is like, uh, I might might need him. So she, right now, it's a competition between she and Penelope for his hand. So we know Penelope gets weird as always, but really kind of finds her place with him. She's open. She's honest. He appreciates that. The only thing with Lord Debling is that he's not ever going to be overcome with love. His career comes first. And so Penelope's aware of that. They're getting closer. By the time we get to episode four, Lord Debling is like, look, what what a man got to do in your, in your story. All right. Uh, what would the man who wants to court you, who wants to marry you, what would he do? And she's like, I guess you'll have to read the book to find out. And I'm like, well, make things happen. And meanwhile, Colin done found out that Penelope is really the love of his life. Okay. Okay. Uh, and that's all he can think about. And clearly that's all she can think about. Episode four, honey, Lord Debling is like, I see what's going on. I can see you tell me, is it what it is? And she's like, well, he doesn't want me. He said, that's not what I asked sis. He's out of there. Penelope on the way home is like, oh my gosh, gets in the cab with dadgum Colin. Fingers are going places. Dresses are going places. I mean, get out of the carriage. He's like, come on in the house. She's like, your family will see me. He's like, I I want them to because you're the one I want to marry. And it's going to be the one you want to marry until you find out the truth. That she's Lady Whistledown. And has blown up your life at every opportunity she got. Four more episodes, y'all. But those were my key takeaways. Let me know what you thought. Is this living up to your expectations as it relates to the previous seasons? Or did this fall a little bit flat for you? I would love to know. Drop it in the comments below. And if you're still here, thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you.